Paul, job done tonight. Happy? Uh, yeah, I was pleased with our performance. I just think that, you know, in tight games, like you, if you've got to be successful, you have to have one nils, you have to ride the storm. No team's going to come here and lay down, um, especially if they get uh, the odd decision here and there. So, um, yeah, I was pleased with the lads. I just wish we'd have got a second goal and it could have been more comfortable. I thought at the time, second half our play was really good. I was just thought, first half, we were a bit too slow. And... Um, the wide men came into the middle of the pitch a bit too much and we didn't have the width that we wanted. Um, but then second half, I thought we were much better and um, deserved our win. How pleased are you for, for Lewis Dobbin? Match winner tonight, first league goal for him. Yeah, really pleased. I think he's a, well, you can see he's a popular member of the team. The lads are buzzing for him. Um, and he's still a really young man. You know, I had hair when I was 18 and it seems a long while ago, but... You know, you forget what it's like when you're 18, 19. Like you're playing in front of 28,000 people. You want to do well every time you get the ball. And he trains really hard, and it was a good goal. I, I asked him when he came off if he had his eyes shut. He said uh, he didn't think so. So I look forward to watching it on the video from a different angle. But yeah, but it was a good move. And I thought some of our play, we you know, we cut him open at times, and you know, hit the post and. I don't know, eight or nine attempts on goal, something like that. I just thought, you know, if we'd have got a second goal, it could have looked a lot more comfortable. But fair play to Cambridge. I thought they were, you know, we said to the lads at half-time, what do you think? And the first thing they came back with was, look, look Cambridge are no mugs, Gaffer. And I went, I know that, but, you know, we want to try and win every game. But I thought they fought really hard and made it difficult for us. I thought, you know, their full-backs, um, especially Brophy, thought he'd done really well. So, um, all in all, to get through with three points, that's, that's all we care about. I just wanted to ask you about the reaction to, to the goal and, and what that maybe says about your relationship because he came straight over to Richie Barker and, and yourself to celebrate with you, which we don't see all that often from players. Do you not? Oh, we're great guys, aren't we? We're just uh, hilarious great guys. I don't know, really. It's nice of Dobbs. I mean, I was pleased with Nat because, you know, I'm encouraging him to cross it early and um, so really pleased with the ball. But, yeah, well, um, Lewis is just a really nice guy, a uh, great guy, and the dressing room's really tight, the staff are really close, and like, if you've got to be successful, it takes everybody who works at this football club, including all the fans who turn up. So I appreciate the fans uh, stuck with the players, and it <coughs> felt a lot louder tonight, uh, which is good, because the lads need it, because teams come here and think, oh, we're doing all right, we're nil-nil against Derby after 20 minutes. That's when the players need the fans to keep them going. Not that they're not going to keep going, but you know my point. So I thought the atmosphere was really good tonight, and uh, look, no no club is going to come here and get their belly rubbed. You know, no team's going to come here and go, oh, you know, we'll, we'll lay down and let you beat us. Every game has different challenges. It'll be the same on Monday, another tough game, and, you know, there's no guarantees. So we need to play at the same level, hopefully get a second goal. Uh, if Dob Dobbs gets another one, great. Um, I think I've already... Oh, I haven't got him a mug, have I? Oh, no, I might have got him a cup one. Yeah, it's not as good as a league one. I might have to treat him to a league one. Better China. Pay the extra one pound fifty. So, really pleased with him. Another clean sheet. Joe's done really well when we needed him too. And I thought, you know, Cash and uh, Foz were excellent again. So, all in all, um, a good night's work. And you mentioned it again there. Same again on Monday back here at Pride Park Stadium. Not much time to prepare for it. No, not really. Um, it will be a, a, a similar big ask. I mean, Aki uh, played really well and 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 were on the wrong side of the result. I thought last night. So. Um, now it'll be a tough game it always is when we play Aki and every game in this league is I'm, I'm well aware of that so we have to be at our glorious best and you know tonight I made a couple of changes thought it would uh, sharpen it up and we'd probably have to do it again because the games are thick and fast like um, so hopefully we can have a positive result on uh, Monday is that the right day I don't know what day it is what day are we on now Friday aren't we here Monday hopefully have a positive result on Monday and it sets us up nicely for the you know turn of the year and just finally, um, you started against Cambridge. Tonight was your 20th game in, in charge of Derby and, and you've Ooh. beaten them again. Does it feel like 20 or does it feel like more? Yeah, good, very good question. I like the way your voice changed at the end. Feel like more. Uh, now, if it does feel like more, it feels like I've been here forever. Not, not in a bad way. It does feel like we've been here quite a while. And, you know, I, I said when I first came in that we were like relationship leaders, I think. Um, so it does take some time to win people over possibly or for them to trust us I hope the lads trust us now um, so yeah it does feel more than 20 games uh, yeah surreal uh, but I really like Cambridge I like the way they play I've always liked the way they play I, I think their management team are excellent so for us to beat them twice uh, says a lot about the players we've got